decided to chase it after going through the truck and seeing the filtration system. Looks perfectly good to me. Beer tastes like regular beer. Hi, Grant. All right, my name's Chris Wheeler. Uh, I am the owner and brewmaster at Prison Hill Brewing Company. Uh, and uh, the first to unveil a beer in the wastewater challenge. Wastewater is, you know, the idea of treating wastewater and human effluent, and, you know, the things that go down the toilet, and making it drinkable and consumable is kind of a hard thing to wrap your head around. Um, so when the U of A and Pima County approached us to do this challenge, they said, you know, hey, we're doing this. Um, my first, in, my first. Yeah. Gut was that there's no way. I need to see the water chemistry. I need to see what's going on. Prove to me that this is drinkable. So I drove to Tucson, towing a trailer, and I tested the water. I saw the water reports, and it turns out that it's better than, well, darn near anything you can get in a bottle. Um, definitely better than what comes out of the tap in Yuma. And it was perfect for building up and making a beer. I'm a water quality specialist with the University of Arizona Cooperative Extension. And today we're in our advanced water purification truck um, here in Yuma. And what we're doing is we're talking to people about where their water comes from and that we have the technology available to treat recycled community wastewater and turn it into advanced purified pure water. And so what we're doing is we're taking this around the state, okay. getting people to see and touch and taste and feel. Um, the technology that's behind all this process. And in the meantime, we have 26 brewers that are brewing beer with our advanced purified water that are entering in a statewide competition that will be held the second week in September. Yeah.